Hi boys, what's going on lads? Now welcome you for back to another video, another player review. This is a really interesting card and, and you'll go, you guys will see his in-games in a minute and you'll see why I think it's an interesting card. Coming into 100,000 coins, we've got Jose Maria Jimenez. Now, first of all, he gets some brilliant links. You've got some Atletico lads, obviously with the end screen, we'll have all of the possible links. But I think, honestly, this looks like a really solid centre-back for 100,000 coins. Now remember, this, this whole promo, this card can get up to three upgrades i believe if atletico win one out of the next five i think if he plays three of the next five matches and if he registers i think is it one clean sheet i think um, within the next five matches, then he'll get an upgrade for each separate thing. So he could possibly be going to a 93. If this card goes to a 93, obviously just plus three pace, he'd be 87 pace, 94 defense, uh, around 88 physical, and then he'd probably get like plus five, plus sixes in dribbling and passing. But that's potential to be a really good card. Atletico are kind of out of form right now. Remember, it is just league games that count towards his upgrades, I think from April 1st onwards because of international break. But honestly, I think this card looks really good at six foot one with medium high work rates medium high work rates is perfect you hit on over to his pace and he's got 84 which in my opinion is more than enough we've gone what we usually do for a defender and that's simply a shadow putting him up to 94 pace his dribbling now you see 44 balance and i know a few people want balance and agility as his center backs but he's just going to be one of the center backs he's going to be one of the more defensive center backs he's not going to be a center back that you can dribble with for example like my rudiger as well is very similar to him i'm oh, sorry he's a complete opposite of him. Um, 77 agility, 75 balance. I was meant to say Rudiger is very similar to my Kafu, who has got good agility and balance for a centre back. And Rudiger is absolutely broken because I know the agility and balance he does have. He can turn really, really nicely on the ball. Same with my Marquinhos, who usually starts. Obviously, we had to change the team up for chemistry reasons. Um, but 81 agility, 80, 80 uh, balance for a centre back is crazy. And I think balance and agility is underrated for a centre back because you can turn with them. So I think pairing him in is up with Obviously, you don't usually want to play a fullback off him, but if you can pair Jimenez up with a centre back that is a little bit more agile, you've got the defensive centre back in Jimenez, and then you've got the centre back who can turn quite quickly, etc. etc. Defensively, with, with a shadow boost, he goes to 99 interceptions, 93 hitting, 97 awareness, 99 stand tackle, and 98 slide tackle. And heading on over to the physicals is where it gets interesting. 96 jumping, phenomenal. He'll win every single hitter. Uh, 91 strength, 94 aggression. He's very strong. Aggression going into tackles will be brilliant. But you see, 64 stamina. And I know as a centre back, 64 stamina is a lot more usable compared to if it was a midfielder. But still, if you're hitting into extra time, this card will be getting gassed. So I do think that is a little bit of a, a nitpick for me. Um, but 64 stamina, obviously, it's not the end of the world for a centre back. But then again, it, it really depends. Because if you're going into the into you know extra time or something like that, you don't want to play the, the last 30 minutes up until the 120th with a centre back who's absolutely gassed. Um, as with Trace, has got injury problems. Prone. All in all, looks like a good card. 100,000 coins. See you in the review. Right, let's go, boys. Let's have a look at the team we're facing. Good team. Very good team. Serie A team. We've got Martial in there. Some, some solid icons. Big test here. Yeah, he's, he's facing some of the best attackers in the game, isn't he? And you know what? The good thing with a centre back review is I don't have pressure on I have to win it. Obviously, I want to win it. I'm going to be trying hard. But at the same time, like if, if I face an absolute god, right? Okay, that's it. Cheesy ass start, and it's a, a shocking start. But as, as I was saying, if I'm going to face someone that's really good when it comes to attack, um, obviously, at least I'm testing out here minis, right? But oh, I do not want to lose this game, and that was not a good start. Oh, here minis with a block, we love that. I'm back into position, just a jockeying with him. I'm not going to lie, I think here minis got back there. And actually, he got okay. I was offside. That's just very jammy there. Um, now the right trigger, left trigger, jockeying with him. I'm not gonna lie. That is why having balance as a centre back can be really important sometimes. And he minis doesn't have that. When you right trigger, left trigger, jockey when you're trying to follow the ball closely, he minis he feels a lot heavier on the ball compared to say if my Rudiger was to do it, something like that. And that is because of the 44 balance, right? So I do notice that him, you know, trying to right trigger, jockey and, and follow the ball isn't as smooth compared to someone else. And obviously progress the pitch with him the runs are going to feel a whole lot heavier so as i said i do think pair him up with a center back that is a lot more agile like a team of ear Osa, honorable mentions uh rudiger for me they have a perfect center back partnership because they both have solid balance and i feel like balance it's not a must have for a center back but it's definitely nice to have right it is definitely nice to have back to your minis we'll play that up 
Ron Elvis could be bad here. Menez. Block for passing lane. My opponent overhit it, and he's got that strength to back him up. That is really nice from him. Play that down to Ronaldinho. But uh, get out jail free card there. There we go. Beautiful. Now, he, my, my opponent messed up the pass, but as well, he managed it brilliant to win it back. Great strength, great tackle. And my opponent's playing high pressure. And once again, that's another scenario. It's actually good my opponent is a very attacking-oriented player because it makes it uh, very easy to example with this review, if that makes sense. Now, my opponent just had constant pressure on there. And when I'm playing it back, you know, to try and create a chance, something like that, that, um, that pressure can really be an issue with center backs with low balance because if they do put pressure on you, you don't have too much time to turn, etc, etc. So that's just another instance that the 44 balance may be a bit of an issue um, in that center back position. Ron Jimenez gets that tackle through. Last uh, attacker as well, boys. This is an absolutely unreal game. I'm not going to lie. I could not have asked for a better opponent for this for, for a centre-back review because he's really testing me to my limits here. Once again, the constant pressure. Look how high of a line my opponent is playing right now, man. Um, so once again, that's that balance. But here we go. No, it, it holds up. Now we can hit on the counter. Pass intercepted, man. This is an insane game, honestly. Right, now it is the 75th minute here. So as you can see, he means his stamina actually isn't holding up too bad. 61 stamina. Um, it is the third lowest in the team. You got low farms of Dan on lower chem. Or, or uh, stamina, sorry. So it's not obviously too bad with a center back. But going into the half, um, if we were to go to extra time, obviously it wouldn't be the best. Now, I'm actually going to sub on Marquinhos. Kafu's been a little bit average. And we'll keep he means at left center back there. Um, and see how he does. But so far, although have conceded for it's just one of those matches it's a really really good game i'm impressed with him so far man going into tackles his strength and aggression is really really nice i i'm relatively impressed with him he's had a solid performance but hey it's not over yet See, he minis on the turn there. That's an example. On that turn, he is so slow to turn around there. So so slow and that is that 44 balance once again. Oh he minis thank you go on that is absolutely massive Oh, that balance, man. See, I wanted to see if we can hit a counter from that. Go on, Zidane. Mkhitaryan. That's onside, isn't it? I was, oh, was offside. Okay, I was going to say, if I missed that, I would have been fuming. It was offside. He means, though, winning it back in a great position. Wow. That's how we're going to lose the game, lads. That's how we're going to lose the game. A terrible way to lose. I think it was a good game. I think it deserved to go into extra time, maybe. Um... I think a very unfair result, I'm not going to lie, because at the end there, that goal was absolutely shocking. As for XG, I'd actually be uh, interested to see what the XG is like here, because it was, uh, yeah, it was it was 5-5 five, five XG, but that last goal was a very rough goal to concede. Although, he minis solid performance, a few little, like, you know, X with him, you could say, but all in all, it wasn't a terrible performance. So, with the pros and cons, boys, heading on over to the end screen. So, we're going to start off chemistry style. Without a doubt, it's got to be a shadow. Chuck a shadow on him. Happy days. Um, for the pros, we're going to say the 84 pace, I think, is definitely enough. We are going to say 92 defensive awareness, um, along with 92 stand tackle and 91 slide tackle. We are going to say 96 jumping, 61 strength, and 94 aggression. Going into tackles, he is an absolute menace. As for the cons, I'm going to say 64 stand stamina i think it's not like the biggest con there is because i mean as a center back is fine but if you're going into extra time around the 100th minute you do not want a center back being exhausted that's probably the last player on your team you want to have exhausted but um i think the biggest ick i have with them is 44 balance and i do think that's just because i'm used to center backs who can maybe carry the ball up who can maybe turn on the ball a little bit better but once he's got 44 balance you can see um, a few instances that i bet i pointed out to you guys that on the turn if a fast player i know kenny dalgleish had him on strings for a while there if someone's making that run and he has to turn his body with that balance and that agility as well it is going to be really rough to turn Turn in time if you guys get what I mean and I think in the high end you know tiers of foot champs that will definitely that, that could definitely be the difference between you winning or you losing I wouldn't say I mean he, he had some absolutely phenomenal tackles and don't get me wrong he's more than fast enough and going into challenges with the strength and aggression he has it, he, he's absolutely fantastic in that sense as I said, it is more just the fact that, you know, turning quickly with him can be a little bit of an issue. As for the links, though, we have gone for Future Stars, uh, Kunia, and we have gone for Valverde. Obviously, he gets two strong links there. Um, we've gone for a central attacking midfielder and a more box-to-box -box slash DM in Valverde in a similar, similar price range to him. All in all, boys, it's a solid card. I think 
I wouldn't personally pay 100,000 coins. You know I like to keep my reviews honest, and 100,000 coins, I would simply not pay. If this card drops to 70,000 coins, I think buying him for 70,000 coins, with the fact that he could go to a 93, or a 92, or a 91, I think 70,000 coins for an upgradable card, that's what I'd happily pay for him. I think 100,000 coins is a little bit too much. Remember, he's only been in packs a couple hours, so he may drop a little bit more. I think going into challenges, great. Work rate's phenomenal. It is more just turning. A little, bit, a little bit iffy with him, and I wouldn't really class him as meta, if you know what I mean. But all in all, maybe he'll drop some more. Then if he gets to that 70,000 coin price mark, then I'll probably bump that 8.9 out of 10 up to a 9. Um, so yeah, hope you guys did enjoy. It's been your boy Davis, and I'll see you later.